So data analysis is a big part of the new GRE. So things like arithmetic mean and median and mode, which is not mentioned in this problem, need to be fluent aspects of your vocabulary. So if you don't know what mean, median, and mode mean, you should pause the video right now and go look them up. I'm assuming you do know what mean, median, and mode all mean. Um, median is the middle number, the mean is the regular average, and the mode is the most frequently occurring number. Now, in this graph, we notice a pattern, and that is it would be a bell curve, except the right part of the bell seems a bit stretched out. If you've ever had a statistics course, you learned that this was called right skewed. You almost certainly forgot that from your statistics course, but uh, most of the values will be grouped on the left, which means the median will lie over here somewhere and the average will actually be pushed up above the median by these values on the tail. So in general the median will be less than the mean for a right skewed data set. You don't need to know this to solve this problem, but it is something worth knowing because it does tend to answer these types of bell curvish questions from time to time. Now, I'm going to actually sort this out logically instead of using facts from a statistics class that you may or may not have ever taken. Now, what is this frequency distribution? It means that 15 measurements, 15 people, you know, let's say they're, they're measuring uh, the number of cats a person owns, and 15 of the people own 1 to 5 cats, and 35 people own 6 to 10 cats, and 11 to 15, no, I'm sorry, 15 people own 11 to 15 cats, and so on. So, 15 people own 1 to 5, and 35 people own 6 to 10. Now, already, we've got over half of the measurements, because 95 measurements were taken. That tells us that the median lies somewhere between 6 and 10. So the worst case scenario would be that the median is 10. In the sense that, uh, let's try to get the median as far to the middle of these measurement intervals. Well, the farthest it could go would be 10 because we've got 95 measurements total, 50 measurements. are smaller or equal to 10. So only 45 left. Now let's see what the mean could possibly be. Um, let's just uh, estimate here fifteen times one would be a very small estimate for the contribution of everyone from this this uh, portion right here 
35 times, well, we know uh, at least some of them have to be 10. Um, so we'll say 35 times uh, 6 is reasonable. So 15 times 1 is 15. Uh, 35 times, well, it actually has to be more than 6. So 35 times 7. 35 times 7 is 245. Now, you have an on-screen calculator in the new GRE, so you can actually use that. Now, you'll notice in this, this graph right here, these three can, we can just use the middle to estimate their average. This is a typical trick you can use with graphs on the GRE is you'll have a portion that kind of matches up with another portion. So let's just say all of these are, well let's see here, we've got 15, 12, and 10. So we've got 15 plus, that's 37 measurements times, I will say, 16 so that contributes 592 then we've got five measurements at say 26 Again, I'm, I'm doing a worst case scenario in this situation where for these measurements, I'm just going to assume they're all 26 because I want to move the mean as close to the middle as I can and the median as close to the right as I can. 5 times 26 is 130. Now... If we add this up, even at this point, I mean, there, there's still, you know, like three more, I guess. Uh, three more at 31, so that's 93 more. You know, this is 200, this is 800. Um, 800 and 200 is 1,000, and 1,000 divided by 95 is going to be more than 10. So even after this tedious check, we can verify that the mean is larger than the median. Uh, I'll just go over visually again. The median is going to lie here because the bulk of the values are to the left but this high tail this tail of numbers that correspond to high measurements is going to push the mean to the right of the median so the mean is going to be bigger in this particular example hopefully that was clear these questions are often some of the most muddled it may serve you well to just learn things like uh, right skew, median, less than the mean. Left skew has the opposite, median bigger than the mean. I'm going to post some more videos on data analysis because... I think this is a spot where a lot of people need a lot of review. I hope you learned something.